What's up guys, it's Lucas, and today we're going to be talking about an important topic, secure web browsers. So I'll be talking about the most secure browsers based on the past year, and spoiler alert, the best ones are not your default browsers. So let's dive right in. What does it mean to have a secure web browser? Secure web browsers are ones that don't track your activity and do their best to avoid vulnerabilities that might allow hackers to exploit loopholes in their coding. Now, mainstream providers like Microsoft Edge, uh, Mozilla, Firefox, and Google Chrome do have built-in security features like download protection, uh, malicious website detection, and automatic do not track requests, which make them pretty safe from a security standpoint. But even mainstream browsers that enable you to browse in so-called private or Windows can still track your activity and send your data to third parties. That's why your best bet is to choose a secure browser to protect your data. Private browsers focus on giving users more control over their online privacy. Private browsers such as the ones we'll talk about today come with additional protective features to better address your privacy needs. All right, guys, let's get right into it. The most secure web browsers of 2022 from worst to best. In last place, we have Google Chrome. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, it's probably the most popular browser on the list, that doesn't make it the best. While it turns exceptionally high in terms of security, I would hesitate to call Google Chrome a secure browser. Here's why. All the privacy options in the world couldn't make me recommend Chrome as a privacy-friendly browser. The primary reasons are Chrome's interaction with your Google account and the sync feature, which automatically collects your data and sends it back to Google, including things like your browsing history, website permissions, um, and search history. Also, the mobile version of Chrome provides Google with your location data as well. Now, privacy aside, it is secure. It has a ton of security features, including automatic download scanning, automatic updates, uh, automatic uh, phishing and malware website warnings, um, incognito mode and sandbox tabs. Also, Chrome has been the back-to-back -back winner of two PWN to own hacking events. Uh, despite trying their hardest to find vulnerabilities within the browser, hackers just couldn't crack its defenses. So they might share all of your data, but at least they protect it well. Coming in at number five, we have our other behemoth browser, Safari. Now, hear me out. The privacy on Safari is better than Google Chrome, but not much better. Although we know Apple has been accused of data collection in the past, users can now opt into data gathering techniques, which make Apple products uh, more attractive from a privacy standpoint. Still, its creators are part of the NSA's PRISM program, so take it with a grain of salt. As you probably know, Safari is only available to Apple users. Um, I do consider it a fairly secure browser in general and probably the most secure default browser despite its sluggish update delivery. For example, Safari runs websites in a sandbox, preventing unauthorized data access and malicious code uh, from one of your tabs from taking over your entire browser. This is done by separately quarantining each open tab. Safari also includes protection from phishing and fake websites. It has a private browsing mode and includes uh, a built-in password manager. Oh, and by the way, if you'd like to learn more about my favorite password manager to use, I talk about that uh, in my favorite cybersecurity products video, which I will link down uh, in the description below for you to check out. Um, in this video, I go through all of our top recommendations for protecting your privacy and keeping you safe online, which includes why password managers are great to use um, and some of the main reasons why we like using them. All right, coming in at number four, we have ungoogled Chromium. What is ungoogled Chromium? <laughs> well, Google Chrome is an open source project and Chromium is its less intrusive version that still offers most of Google's products. Uh, but there's also an ungoogled version. While Chromium already scores high on the security department, the ungoogled version takes an extra step, removing background requests to all web services. It also removes pre-made binaries from the source code. Ungoogled Chromium uses HTTPS when possible, disables automatic URL, formatting an Omnibox, and disallows pinging uh, an IPv6 address. So Ungoogled Chromium basically removes a lot of the Google privacy concerns while allowing you to install Chrome store extensions. Now, users should be aware that most settings require manual activation, which makes it a bit annoying for users. Um, it's also not compatible on mobile, which kind of sucks. Now, our number three spot goes to a browser that is mobile friendly, Brave. Brave is a relatively new Chromium-based private browser, but it uh, already supports all major platforms, uh, something that other browsers on this list still haven't achieved. 
Mostly developed by Brendan Eich, who is a former Mozilla contributor and JavaScript creator, Brave is lightweight, secure, and made specifically with privacy in mind. From a secure standpoint, Brave scores really well. Out of the box, Brave blocks uh, browser fingerprinting, scripts, and cookies by default. It also has a solid ad blocker and provides uh, the HTTPS everywhere integration, as well as relatively frequent security updates. It also scores pretty well on privacy. With a completely de-googled code base and customizable private windows, Brave boosts its credentials even more with a complete lack of privacy scandals or concerns. That said, it's still a work in progress. Until Brave adds uh, more entries to its collection of secure add-ons, it's difficult to recommend it as the most secure browser available. Overall though, Brave is an excellent choice for those who don't mind using an experimental piece of software and don't struggle with minimalist functionality. Its only downside is its comparatively low number of supported browser extensions, and some users may not like the introduction of ads, which help support the project. Okay, let's move on to our number two spot. Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox is by far the safest mainstream web browser, um, although our number one pick is the most battle-ready private browser out of the box. Firefox has such a massive plugin support that you can configure it to compete uh, for the top spot. Like our number one pick, Firefox is also open source and it's been fully audited so it doesn't suffer from speed losses. Now, from both a security and a privacy rating, it's hard to beat Firefox. Um, if you download uh, a few privacy plugins, Mozilla Firefox can be pretty much an iron vault. There's also the privacy-oriented Firefox Focus browser for Android and iOS. It's also updated regularly to deal with new security threats. Unless you're looking for hardcore security, Mozilla Firefox is your best choice. Um, but if you are looking for a hardcore security browser, let me introduce you to the king of private browsers, my number one pick, Tor Browser. Often hailed as the undisputed king of private browsers, Tor is an open source Firefox based web browser that comes with a ton of security features that protect against browser fingerprinting. Now, as you might infer from the name, it runs on the Tor network. It's also regularly updated to deal with all of the new security issues. Now, by default, Tor blocks all scripts and runs in the private browsing mode. When you close your browser window, nothing is saved, and this includes cookies, history, and passwords. Thus, Tor provides a less streamlined but more secure browsing experience. Uh, Flash and QuickTime are also blocked by default to prevent um, anyone from hacking into your device using their security vulnerabilities. Tor is built with privacy protection at its very core. By using a vast network to bounce traffic around the world, Tor makes it virtually impossible to track and identify what you're doing online. And the HTTPS uh, Everywhere integration ensures that your data is encrypted whenever you connect to a website. All this combined makes for Tor as the absolute champion of secure browsers in terms of out-of-the-box privacy. There are a few things to consider with Tor. The browser blocks scripts that may result in websites loading erratically. Um, and Tor significantly slows down your connection because of the multiple layers it uses to hide your traffic. I also don't recommend it for novice users. Uh, tweaking the Tor browser settings can lead to some glitches. That said, after looking at the most secure web browsers in 2022, I can say that the uh, Tor browser still holds the number one spot. Um, it's available on all major platforms, save for iOS, and it provides the best possible security and privacy. However, its slow speed does mean that users need another option for daily use. So for daily use, Mozilla Firefox is probably the safest web browser for the average user. Um, it's simple uh, to install and can be easily customized. Uh, what's more is Firefox comes with a number of add-ons that will further increase your online protection. I hinted at this when I talked about Tor, uh, but I want to emphasize that for online safety, it's a good idea to use more than one browser. Most of us want to browse the web while being connected to multiple accounts. This is convenient, but it also makes it easy to track your activities and link them to the same identity. The solution here is to set rules for using each browser. For example, you may want to use Mozilla Firefox for your daily tasks that require logging into the email and other accounts. The second browser, like Brave, can be reserved for browsing in private mode while being logged out. Finally, the Tor browser could be reserved for uh, tasks that require maximum privacy and security. So feel free to create your own set of rules and use different browsers, just make sure not to break them. Um, and when it comes to logging in, never save your passwords in the browser. If you have too many of them to remember, uh, then just consider using a password manager. 
So now that we've covered secure browsers, on one last note, keep in mind that even safe web browsers have their drawbacks. Uh, so I always like to use a VPN extension to my browser as an additional layer of protection. This encrypts my data and helps to avoid any IP leaks. My personal favorite and the one I use is NordVPN. I talk more about why I like using Nord in my favorite cybersecurity products video, which I will link down below. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, this includes all of the most essential online security products that the average person would benefit from uh, the most for protecting their privacy and staying safe online. But otherwise, what are your thoughts on secure web browsers? Do you agree with the rankings? Let me know down in the comments below. I always love to hear your guys' opinions. And thanks so much for watching. If you guys found this video helpful, please click the like button. Uh, that always makes my day. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.